Okay, good evening. Welcome to the Holbrook Planning Board meeting of um, Monday, June 12, 2017. It being 6 o'clock, so we'll get started with the meeting. Um, first, um, first set of um, um, discussion uh, since Timmy's here. Um, Timmy, we were wondering, and, and I don't know how the procedure should be kind of done, but we're talking about Howard Ave, down, way down by Brockton Ave, and there's a tough corner down there. Like, it, 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 there's a lot of brush that needs to be cut back. Should we ask Ben, or we should it come from you? No, I've already spoken to him. Okay, it's, all right. Do we know it hasn't been done yet? Well, well I think one of the- It has not been done yet. Okay. okay. He, he, he took it, he said, yeah, we're gonna take care of that. So okay, all right, good. Um, good, okay. Because exactly I just didn't, I don't wanna, Ask Ben to do something where nope. I don't know whether I should be doing that or not. He and I spoke about it and said no problem. We just probably hasn't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. And that—that's the only thing that um, I had. But with now, um, we'll get started. Um, and we'll go over some of the um, <coughs> language here for um, how it have. If you want to get started. Good. Yes. Very good. Thanks. Brian Dunn with MBL Land Development and Permitting. For the record, with offices at 770 Broadway, Suite 6 in Rainier, Massachusetts. So we've, we've uh, submitted a set of plans with the updated wa waivers. We've got an updated letter that was dated uh, May 19th that went specifically uh, to the waivers that we were requesting and pretty much the reasons why we were requesting those waivers. And it was not my understanding that we were waiting for uh, Sean Hardy's review and comment on them. And our office had a phone call with him this morning uh, in regards to that. And he, we were told that he was drafting a, uh, a letter for the board to review and possibly approve this evening. Okay. Good. And Sean, correct me if I'm. Yeah, I think I saw you. Was highlighted. Is this uh, this what we went over? Yeah, I had sent some. I had sent a draft today, so a certificate of approval. Um, I haven't seen it? that. Do you have a copy of that for me to look Is at? Is that this here, Sean? Probably. Okay, okay so take. It take had the, the very much like that. twelve requested waivers on it. Is that the twelve on that, Brian? Four, um, yeah, it looks like that. Huh. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to go through each one of them just to kind of go yeah, through those first 12? Yeah, I think you guys have to vote. So the first thing, basically the beginning is just bookkeeping type stuff. Um, I had it highlighted for the dates just to confirm with some of the applications. Yeah. Um, and then the conditions, I took out some of the ones that are standard that don't necessarily apply to this and um, reworded a few so you want to... Um, Make sure that I didn't keep anything in there that you wanted removed and didn't add. Um, basically, the first four on the first page to the, just the standard language stuff that um, talks about conformance with what was said at the meetings, um, federal, local, state laws, etc., um, and talks about that the approval is good for the two years, so that's standard. Um, no increase in the quantity of water runoff above or below ground. Um, it's a, a standard condition that you guys have. Yep. Um, the language that you usually have about a covenant if there's going to be one before lots get released. Um, language to add to the final mylar before it's endorsed that, um, that this conditions of approval uh, bounds per your regulations, um, utilities underground per your regulations, that the three lots, um, septic system designs need to be approved so that <coughs> they know that they're buildable lots. Um, so that would be through public works slash um, water, water health, right? Water health. Water health, water health, health yeah. right, okay. And we've, and if, I, and if I may, we already have substantial parks that passed okay. that were witnessed by the Board of Health. So, okay, so that's we're good. good. Yeah. And then the last one was that the, to um, 
show some of that information that we were looking for as far as grading and whatnot um, on the final set of plans. Okay. I think the applicant knew that was there because he intends to do that. Um, and then the waivers, I <coughs> just reworded and put them in the format that you guys can usually see so that those are now official as part of the approval. So um, they want a waiver from reserve strips for adjoining properties. Some of these, I, some of these in the regs are like, it's the wording's a little funny. Some of them are at your discretion whether they're required. Yep. So it's not clear. So these, they will ask it to just specifically to be waived from those. So certainly the reserve strips, I, I think that's reasonable. Um, the right of way width and design, um, specifically sidewalks and bike paths um, and the 20 foot wide pavement. So you guys knew that, I believe. Um, asking for a waiver from trails, and bike paths and horseback and things like that, which I certainly think is appropriate for this small subdivision. So um, again, this the waiver from the requirement for the open space um, and park areas certainly again appropriate for mm -hmm. a small subdivision um, and the sixth one deals with playgrounds so a waiver from that requirement again a lot of those are at the board's discretion so it's just officially asking for those waivers um, for bike paths pedestrian ways um, it's pretty interesting to see bridal paths like I know. <laughs> Number eight, for protection of natural features. Um, as you know, some of the language in there deals with outlining what trees are gonna be saved and not saved, but again, given, I guess, the size of the subdivision, it's reasonable to, to waive that. Um, sidewalks, grass plot, trees and curbs, so a waiver from that cross section that deals with all of that. And you guys acknowledge that that is part of the request. Um, 10 is the same thing. 11 with bike paths, the same, similar. And 12 to not provide an environmental impact statement. So, and other than that, I think the condition is they're going to revise the plans at some point to show the final grades and whatnot and where the utilities are going to be. Um, and I think that should be everything. Okay. Great. So, Brian, when do you expect to have those plans completed? Uh, probably, I can probably have something back to you guys in a couple of weeks. Okay. With, with, with the updated uh, waivers on the plans, bylaws, and then the notes that Sean wants for recording. Yeah. Because we do have it set up to, to uh, be recorded at the registry of deeds. Yeah. So then we can bring the we can what I'll do is I'll email out a, a final draft of them for us before we go to mylaw. Sean will say okay. I'll print the mylaw and bring them in. But we also have uh, an appeal period still too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we've we got time. Okay. Uh, because I have to, we have to make sure that the decision is posted with the clerk. Right. And then the 20, 21 days, 21 days. Mm -hmm. runs out. Then if no appeal, then the clerk will sign the mylaws, and then we can. Well, we uh, sign them. The we clerk. sign the mylaws. Yeah. Right. Then yeah. after the clerk signs, I'm going to bring the mylaws to you. Okay. To sign. And then we can record them and then give everybody a copy of what we'll do is we'll record them and then get an instant uh, PDF of them with all the recording information on it and get it back to you uh, for uh, for your files okay. that's what we've been doing on the other subdivisions okay. um, so from here on out um, we just need a motion to what wave yeah approve and then with this decision and, and these conditions and these waivers if you want any added or subtracted all right i'll make a motion that we approved these um definitive plan with conditions as written is there a second and before you vote on it is there anyone else from the neighborhood here that wants to say anything or uh i already talked to somebody outside so i rather see what the board does. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have a motion. We have a second. All those in favor? Aye. And then uh, we'll wait to hear back from you. And you're going to post a decision 
uh, you're going to write the decision and post it? Yeah, we can do yeah, that. Yeah, Sean will. Well, this is it. So you, you guys can we can just put it on your letterhead type of thing. Okay. Yep. It's right. in the board format, okay. so you, can, you, can, you guys can sign it. And then let me know when it, when it uh, hits the clerk's office and then when the 21 days of have, uh, up is coming up and then we can make sure we don't have an appeal and then we'll bring the, the mylaws in for you to sign out right after that. Okay. The only okay. thing there was two dates in that first paragraph that I had highlighted so right. we March just check for the specifics on when it was first held but other than that I think it's good to go. Just on the point it goes on. And my address is 77 Broadway and the, the, his letter is 771. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Nice okay. and quick and easy. Right. Yep. Thank you. Anything else? You good? No, I'm good. Okay. All set, right? All right. You're in there. Yep. You're there now. We're there. We're there. there, now. We're there. Yeah. That's it. Um, very good. Great. Thank, Thank you. you again. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Um, what else? Anything else that we need to? Um, Debbie, did we get the security from Frank? Do you also get? So I think, I mean, I, I mean, I know that he's probably going to want to come in to see us sooner than later, and I don't think we should e tell him that he's not going to be put on the agenda until that's until that's paid. I would think. Yeah, yeah. so it's replenished. Should I call him about that or seven eleven? I, I would. Letter. I would just. I don't know. Um, you probably best send him a letter. I mean, I hate you know making busy work, but it, you're probably better off sending the letter just so it's yeah. documented and you know. Um, What's that? Uh, he just owes uh, some fees to us, so we want to get that squared away before he, you know, he needs to yeah. come in or anything like that. So, um, okay. All right. um, just trying to think. Anything else that needs to be? You all right? I feel good. Okay. Sean, anything from you? You all right? So, okay. So I think. Um, so I did mention something to Timmy a couple of weeks ago about that corner. Um, so I, I just don't, I don't know if it's my role, my position to ask the DPW director. And that's why I asked Timmy to. I cut that information and that's where this gets very technical. Yeah. You know, um, but I do, I did drive down there maybe a week ago, not even. And, uh, I see what you're talking about because you, before you, if you were starting to go around that little corner, you could see ahead if there's a car coming. You know what I mean? Now you, you have no, you, you can't even do anything until you're on top of the, another car. So it is, it is dangerous. You know, in, in UPS. And, uh, what's that? UPS and uh, Amazon, especially now because Amazon drivers are not. Right. Yeah. Well, if someone, yeah, if they're not, they're not if, they're, if they're not, if, uh, if they're not used to, yeah. if they're not used to the road, right. You know, they're gonna kind of buzz down there a little bit. You know. Um, and, and I, I do know what you're talking about, so I, I would hope that they'll be able to kind of really thin that out for you, because it's because you want to be able to see almost, almost the start of the street coming in, off of South Franklin Street, almost, you know. Especially if you're coming from the Brockton direction, because of the S turn. Right, right. You know, so. It is what it is. And well. But you know what? It, 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 it was it supposed to be squared away many years ago. It's not your board's position, I shouldn't say. But yeah. you know, once you make it bigger, right. this is one of the reasons I've held off with my name. Yeah. To be honest with you. So I, I think honestly, I think honestly that um, you know, even if it's not, say they go down there next week or whatever, this week or whatever, and it's not something that's, you know, it maybe needs a little bit more, you know, grooming down there. We can always ask to see if they can send them back down there to open it up a little bit more too. So, well, like I said, it's been I've been there for many, many years. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time. So. Yeah, yeah. And so, so you know, just keep us in the loop, and we you know, <laughs> or even speak with Timmy too. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue and, and kind of fix that corner for you. You know, because it is it is dangerous coming out when you when you even leave it. Yeah. Yeah, that abutter that has, the other thing is the abutter has a stone wall that's in the layout. Those utility poles are in the layout. They're like right up against that area. Right. So even if you clear that brush, and I'm sorry if I'm, I'm taking that wind, yeah. you're still going to have a wall in, the, in those, go off the record. Yeah. Those, those poles in the way. Right. But you know, if we, but the, the, the wall is low enough 
that you can still see over the wall right you know so it's just basically getting rid of the overgrowth that's that's really what it is that's the problem you know so hopefully they can take care of that for and you. then if we need to to stake it out because we've got the control there so you know what's in the layout and what's owned by the people so the DPW was in Claire and people's yes. on their property and then that might be another problem so right uh, yeah. Maybe I'll be saying, if, if, who is the DPW director? Uh, ben. Ben? Yeah, Ben. Was that the gentleman that was just standing here? No, no, no. But, you know, maybe if you want to put a few stakes out, you know, in the near future, just okay. so that they have a little bit of an idea. And then if we need to, um, you know, approach the residents, you know, maybe they do that and just let them know. It's 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 basically yeah, a safety they, issue for I the think wrestling. they need to know before you get down, before, you know, uh, a tree guy comes down here at 7 o'clock in the morning. Mm. They need to be told that someone's going to be clearing the right yeah. of way. So, yeah, but it, a lot of it's just—it's still even just growing over the street. You know, it's—it's—it's—it's it's, it's, it's a. Yeah, if you look at the power lines when we do have storms, that's another issue. Yeah, that's why I was looking for these people to make the road from a certain section to a certain section, because the more we take out the trees, the less chance of the power lines getting wiped right. out on a small street, and nobody calls it in. <laughs> Right, right. Okay. I think the one benefit we do have is that we're we're putting that cul-de-sac at the end, and we're, we're going to have the ambulance and fire access to be able to turn around. Because right now we were told by the chief that they have to back out the entire way. Right, right. Yeah. Well, what they used to do was form a highway department. They used to live on the street. They used to always use his yard. Right, and uh, he's, he's gone. Yeah, so we're, we're, I mean, we're, we're not going to forget about you. We'll, we'll yeah. try to get that squared away, too. Because it's not just you on the street, it's everyone else that's on the street, too. Uh, yeah, and you know, it's, it's I'm not going to be here forever. No, but it's a safety issue. Yeah. You know, it should be looking yeah. at, you know, that's all. So, okay. And excuse me, I came really came back for another reason. When do you think that that decision will hit the clerk's office? When you will sign it? Um, well, we can sign it any time if, you I'm know. I'm going to have it right now, go down right before you know to sign. Oh, okay. And then okay. I'll let it hit. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Have a good evening. All right. See you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. That's it? We good? Good. Yeah. Wrap. All right. Motion to uh, close of the hearing, uh, not the hearing, but the meeting of June 12th, 2017. Second. All in favor? Aye. Great. That's it. Thank you. Good. <laughs>